día, hacer el pago y ahí se los entrega. ¿verdad? Está resultando muy complicado porque... Pasado, límite para usar o manejar esos, esos pases. Claro, no es más, este, yo tuve la oportunidad de... We are here with Alfonso Bustamante, director of Border Affairs for the city of Tijuana. They just have a gathering of many of the people involved with the tourism industry. And we want to talk about several issues because we always heard about the bad stories about Tijuana, what's go about what's going on, about the, the crumbling of the tourism industry. What are you trying to do gathering all these people? We're trying to change the, the image of the city of Tijuana and the rest of the state. And mostly we're trying to not talk to you about it, but inviting you to come down. We have made a fam trip with uh, news media people from Arizona, Southern California, Nevada. And uh, it was very successful because they saw in by personally what is, uh, what, what's going on in Baja, uh, what's going on in Tijuana. They were able to, uh, to meet with the five mayors and with the five chiefs of police. So they, they talked about the, the security that, that we have. It has gotten much, much better. And uh, the, they, they, they went back with a different perspective of, of, the, of the city of Tijuana and the rest of the state. Is this the first time that the city does something like this, just bringing that many news media outlets to trying to change the image of the city? Yes, it is. But we, thought that was, we think that's the only way to do it, uh, to make, you, make sure that you personally see what's going on. And that's why we're continuing now with, a, with another fam trip for all the travel agencies in the same city, same states that we, had, that we brought them down. How do you measure the success of something like this? I mean, it's by the number of stories for the quality of the good and bad, or how to, because I see that there's some kind of resentment against the press, not just from the local ones, from, but also about the international press that you think, you guys think that is always focusing on the bad? No, we, we measured it by receiving testimonies from everybody that came down. Uh, and whether we have the copies of the newspapers. Uh, the, we, we, they wrote out the, the radio commentaries and all that, and some of the TV, and they were all very positive, and they sent them to us. So we, we, we went ahead and sent each one of the mayors uh, those uh, testimonies, so they, because they interviewed everybody, all the, all, the, all the Americans and Mexicans. For instance, San Felipe, there was a, a paella for 800 Americans from uh, Rancho Dorado, Dorado, and they all, uh, they were all positive. They, they live there, they go to the weekends, and they have a great time. They were there, we're here, and uh, a different perspective, totally. What will be the main reason, how, how, how serious is the, the problem with the tourism industry in Baja and in, in Tijuana in particular? I mean, how, how, what are the numbers? Well, uh, like they said, uh, when I was director of tourism, we used to get a, a little bit over a million a month, and now it's uh, not even 300, 400,000. So it is, it's gone down at least 50 percent. But not only the insecurity, there's insecurity everywhere. But we also have the problems of the traffic at the border, the, the waiting time. So we're trying. That is slowly being fixed, and by the, I think in two years, they will be double the gates to go in and to go out of, of the city. So it should be much, much better. One other issue is the, the, the recession, the economy. And there's some sign that things are getting better in the U.S. so that you can probably expect a little bit of improvement. But I also was hearing that many of the Mexican-Americans are the ones sustaining the tourism industry in Baja. Is that correct? And how, how is that? That is correct because many of them have a, a family here or, or any parts of Mexico, and they always want to go back where your roots are from. And they're very good, they're very good uh, tourists. And not only that, but the local tourists, the Mexicans. For instance, the people from Mexicali, they go to Ensenada or vice versa. If it wasn't for them, it would be much, much worse. What are, how are you trying to attract the people from across the border? I heard something about a beer bath or something like that. What's that about? Well, that's a, that's a new spa in Tecate that has the, the beer bath. Is, uh, and you find it at www.beerbath.com. It tells you all the, uh, all the benefits of doing, getting the jacuzzi that is, that is filled with beer. It's 20% beer and 80% water, and it's uh, very refreshing and very, very good for the skin. So that I'm, I'm assuming that will be very easy to get drunk. Well, yeah. <laughs> you cannot spend more than 10 minutes there. How, I mean, when you talk to the people from across the border, you know, things are not as bad, but when they hear the news from either side of the border, or the Mexican national news, they still get scared. They see, I mean, we have a spike on homicides lately. 
how can you convince them? What, what are you trying to tell them to, to come and help you to improve the economy, the local economy? Well, we tell you that what, probably what the reason for, for those problems are. And in our case, is the, the, the cartels or the people involved in, in those businesses, they're fighting for the, for the terrain. I think that's the word. Uh, and, and, and we always tell you, Tijuana is a city like any other city. It has people, churches, uh, jobs, uh, stores, homes, schools. And if you come here to have fun, to shopping, dinner, dancing, uh, whatever, you will never have any problem. If, if you're looking for trouble, you will find it. Do you think the Americans are still having an old-time image about Tijuana and they don't realize how big is this? That's, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make you realize that there's more than two million residents here. So, uh, it, like I say, it's a normal, normal city with its problems. Yes, but you find those problems everywhere, even the Vatican. What will be your last message for the viewers that, that are kind of afraid to come or that used to come but now are thinking twice before coming across the border? Well, the same, uh, what I just said, that uh, they should have no problem if they come to have fun, to dinner, dancing, etc. And those passports that, that you saw that we're giving them, uh, we're going to give them to uh, whoever solicits them through the, the US, through the Mexican consulates, through the travel agents, and uh, people like us, uh, the hotel people that will distribute them to, to people that will visit us, will make you feel a little more secure.